Hey guys, it's Nate, and uh, today I want to show you something pretty cool that I found out. So, I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to update things. You can see Gary's Mod is set to update required. Or, well, it Steam wants me to update it. And this, what, see if I go to, say, episode 1 of Half-Life 2. Just because that's the random one I clicked. It says play. When your game, when an update is available, it changes to update. Um, but there is a way to actually play the game without an update. I'm on a Windows computer, so if you look, you see I have my um, I have it right here on the taskbar. You could do that, or you could put it on the desktop. So I'm gonna do this for Portal 2 real quick. It doesn't need an update right now, but I never want to update this game again, right? So you write, you um. You go to your library, you click on, well I guess you don't have to click on it, but I'm going to. You right click it, you, you hover over manage, don't click, just hover over it to get this menu. And then we're going to do browse local files. Give it a minute to come up. Okay, so it did come up eventually, so now we're here. Now you pretty much just want to scroll through. I don't know what order it's going to be in for you. It's going to be different for everyone, I'm pretty sure. Mine's in alphabetical order. Order. So you scroll down. For some reason I have two. One of them's an icon. So you see, this one says it's an application. So this is the actual um, game itself. You can see that it, if I double click this, it will launch the game. You can see changes to stop. So that's the that's the exe file, right? Let me quit out of this real quick. I'll be right back. I had to include the tiles; they're too satisfying. Anyways. So what I'm going to do is go back to my desktop, you left click it once, click and hold, and then you drag it. Yes, that is how you do that. And for me, it comes up as this personal thing, and to remove that, I just right click it, scroll down, um, not scroll, go down to file ownership, hover over that, click this personal thing. And now it's normal. So now I have it on the desktop, and if I want to go to launch it, and for whatever reason it has to update, I don't want to update it. I want to play it as is. I can just double click this shortcut on my desktop, and it will launch the game without updating it. Now, um, you could also drag this. You just click and hold, and then drag it onto your taskbar. And let go and it'll pin it to the and if you want you can put it in a specific place or you can just chunk it there and then put it wherever you want however you want to do that but I'm going to remove that I'll just leave it on the desktop for me and yeah it should um I mean that's gonna work for all steam games except some games you shouldn't do this for because like games like Team Fortress 2 here if you don't have the latest um version of this game and you go into join like a server it will give you an error or something like that and you can't actually play this game online um when when you don't have the latest version and there are some other games like that too, but you know, Half-Life 2, um, again, Deathmatch is an online game, but I'm not sure because I've never had that issue. Um, the Half-Life series, again, except for Deathmatch, you can do this with Half-Life Source, Gary's Mod, um, Prey. Portal series. It should work for all the those games and possibly even more, like the new Mega Mix game. Um, and 
so you, that's that's the tutorial and now you can you can leave if you want now i get to talk about uh why this works so the reason that this works is because when you click play here it launches the .exe file which is the actual game and it launches it, it it opens that from your files and launches the game but what you're essentially doing here is you are putting that exe file into your taskbar or desktop so you are launching it directly from here um and you know steam doesn't have control over your computer to that degree they can't take that away from you as of right now at least in 2022 what is the date today i don't remember Friday, June 10th, 2022, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, anyways, um, yeah, so it changes this to update, which prevents you from running the exe file through Steam directly, and only lets you update it, and I might as well prove it works, why not, here's Gary's mod, see, it requires an update, but I've already already have it right here, so I'll just click that, and the game launches, and it won't update, and it will also take forever to launch because my computer's slow. <laughs> Although it has gotten faster, oh, well, I guess it wants to launch quick, but you get the point. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Especially to techie people. Um, I might make another video later. But, um, yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Peace out.